What you been throwing hard? Getting it, getting these drugs, distributing, doubling money and flipping it. Back in the booth and I'm killing shit. I'm the same kiddo, ain't different. My niggas the same, we sending them shit. I'm in my bag, better get in it. You ain't the man that you should have been. I could be humble or cocky. It ain't a nigga. This is hard. Uh, yeah. They told me that I don't want to be lying. They lied to me. Sitting in the dark, I by myself holding a staff on. I be near space sometimes, I need to be alone with my thoughts. I'm feeling guilty about some shit that wasn't even my fault. Take one of my eyes, we slide, make them niggas feel the hurt. Only way we know to pay respect is make them feel the worst. Difference between money and time, what can't be reimbursed. Them youngest take the plug down before they snatch a purse, that fully burst. Tap it once and clear they all strip. We jump out and chase, he almost got away, but then he tripped. Yeah, they slid and dropped a couple shots on us, but who got hit? I'm in the streets trying to find peace, can't bring that drama while I lay my head. Real street nigga, she know I'm as gangsta as it get. And this life ain't what it seems, you gotta watch for what you wish. They gave my brother 20 years, I gotta be the first kid. I'm both my parents' youngest son, but I get treated like the man. I can't you tell me this. Why do I feel worse after they tell me it's gonna be okay? Why these drugs ain't working, but they told me that's where hell pain. Pull up out the window with this Drake like I got road race. I put so much ice around my wrist that I got cold veins. I'm running low on pace. First a nigga hit you, then they all do that shit, be contagious. No, we do not step on shit at all, go ask them why they hate us. Niggas couldn't even check up on my mind while I sat in them cages. All these niggas trying to come around me just in case I make it. I started this rap shit with my dog before he passed away. I'ma do whatever, keep you smiling just to save face. I'ma get us out this shit, I promise not to keep you away. Locked in with the streets, I pray this rap shit over the door for us. Hey, hey, bro, that shit too hard. I ain't gonna hold Appreciate you. It. Do, do you feel like that's one of your best jams? Not even. See, it, don't be the ones. Everybody always say that the uh, um, like the songs that got the most views, the artists never feel like that's the best jam for real. Yeah, it was. That was that was something. I, a bit. That was something that I uh, a song I wrote in jail, like before I had came home. Oh yeah. And and I just made like a bunch of songs, like I ain't know which one to drop, like. For okay, my first okay. one coming home, you feel me? Like, I ain't know which one. I feel like, shit, I feel like that was the one, though, you feel me? Yeah, and, and, and God got with her and Stevie. Yeah. And, and they helped me, like, pick, pick the right song out. Like, he's, bro, was sending me to, like, a couple of older people. Like, more so targeting, like, the older people, like. Okay, okay, I got you. Like, that, that's, that, that's what it was targeting? Like, it was, um, like, Cause I got a lot of younger fans, but we, it was on this run. I'm trying to make like the older crowd believers. You feel me? Yeah, I got like, you. Cause like I see a lot of people saying like the city ain't been the same like since WAP and like. That, saying, like I mean, shit. To keep it real, they not lying. Nah, nah, nah. I, I definitely, um, I could get behind that, but I'm just trying to make them believers. Like, you feel me? Hunter. That we still got like the the city definitely got the city guys still got talent. We do. Like, it's just like, you feel me? It's, you know how it is, bro. Hell yeah. What's the deal? You watching X-Files, 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 the podcast, man. We back with another episode. You feel me, man? It's been a minute since I've been up here, man. But no, nah, I'm back in full effect. You feel me? I, all gas, no brakes now, man. I got shit. The hottest nigga in the city right now. The hottest the hottest rapper in the city right now. I'm stamping on that. Facts. If not the hottest, one of the hottest. Top three. You feel me? Y'all hearing him everywhere. You feel me? Y'all hearing him at, uh, they playing him at Sexy Red concerts and shit, you feel me? I heard that. The crowd went crazy for that, right? I got B-Doc up here, bro. What's the deal? What's up with it, man? What's going on, man? Long What's time, up? huh? Hell uh, yeah. We're supposed to have been tapping, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we had some shit going on. Bro. Hell yeah. We now. Facts, man. Better late than never, right? Hell yeah. But yeah, man, so uh, for the people that don't know you, man, tell me a little bit about you. Uh, My name, B-Doc, Doc. Whatever you want to call me. Uh, I'm from the north side. Uh, I'm from Manchester. I grew up in Brighton, though. Like, Brighton Heights. Okay. Area. Marshall Shaving. Uh, I'm 19. I just turned 19, uh, September. And I'm just like... Happy I'm, B-Day, right? Eh? Good looking. Uh, <laughs> my bed, you threw me out. How time? My bad, bro. Uh, good looking bed. Uh... Yeah, that's it for real. I'm rapping. You know, go check out my, uh, I'm on our streaming services, BDOK. 
Words. Uh, so like, um, what made you start doing music? No, actually, how old was you when you first started doing music? You said you're 19. Yeah. So how old was you when you first started doing music? Uh, when I first like like it started, my when I recorded my first song, I was like 11. I was 11. But I like the freestyling rapping, like you know when the hmm challenge was out and all that. Oh yeah, yeah. That's yeah. when I really start. Okay. You know. And it was like we used to do that, like my friend group and shit, or, yeah. or my niggas. We used to do that, but I used to like I used to cook them. You feel me? We used to diss rap each other and shit. It started with the diss rap and shit for real, like oh, just on some funny shit. Yeah. And then uh, I was eleven. Uh, somebody that went to my school, like he had passed away, and he was from my neighborhood and shit. So I knew him and shit. Like I made a song about him and shit. Okay. I never really, I never posted it or nothing, though. Like, it was just, like, you feel me? Just making me expressing myself, basically. Expressing however people at my school was feeling, you feel me? Right. I sent it to, like, a couple people from my school. And then, like, after that, like, people were just, like, I never really took it serious, though, like, until this ring. Like, people always used to tell me, though, like, like, you know how I talk. Like, I got away with words and all that, so. Okay. So what's the um like? Is there a purpose behind your music? You feel? Uh, of course there is. Yeah, hell uh, yeah. Like, uh, once I really, I mean, it always been like an outlet for me. I guess I found it as an outlet, like when I was like eleven. But like, I lost my like I wasn't in the streets or nothing. And but when I uh, like when I was twelve, I was twelve. Turning, I was twelve. Like one of my friends, uh, one of my friends passed away and shit. And it was like, it was really an outlet for me then. But it was more so like, like I started on the drill shit. Like if you see me now, like I switched my whole, you feel me? Mm -hmm. But it was kind of like, you feel me? It more was so dissing niggas and you feel me? Like that's how I got started. An outlet, when you say outlet, would you say it was it's like therapy for you basically? Yeah, definitely. Definitely like therapy. So you said you started on the drill. I started on the drill. Okay. Now it's more so the melodies and yeah. everything. Yeah. Uh, I mean, your YouTube count, as soon as you search your name on YouTube, it's like everyone over 100K down there. Yeah. If not 150, uh, over 50K. Uh-huh. I mean, you got a big fan base. What do you, uh, like, who do you feel your core audience is? My core audience, definitely the youth. The youth, uh, my friends. Um, on a little bit. Uh, the youth. My friends, and definitely like, um, you said like I feel like it's sections in the city, bro. Like, what? Like, like sections that'll support. Like, I don't know. Like, if you if you from a certain area, it's certain sections that'll support you. You feel me? You feel like, like that? Yeah, I feel like, or like certain. Well, yeah, that's how I personally feel. Like, if you from a certain area, certain people won't they don't want the spotlight on you, like or. You know, but I feel like my core audience come from the youth, like all around the city. The youth, like I feel like I got like. I feel like I feel like more so, like I'm I'm 27, so I feel like more so people my age. I mean, they on some like if it's hot, it's hot at this point. You feel yeah. me? Like, you feel me? The older people, yeah. I feel like the older, but you know my age, like yeah. When when you younger, it's like I, I maybe that come from that. like a person. That's kind of probably from like a personal yeah. spot. Yeah. No, nah, I know exactly from. what you mean on that. When you yeah, I, I know, I, I know exactly what you're saying on that. Um, shit, man. So, like, what is your recording process, though, bro? Shit, I used to like, I used to write every song, like, until I started like, I, I ain't gonna lie, I started getting like, I started having to do shit. Like, I wasn't just rapping like for fun no more. Yeah. Like, I have to, like, really, uh, like, I gotta please the fans and stuff, but. So now my recording process be like more so freestyling or I'll write the first eight, write a hook. I'm real I'm big on like hooks. Like I know how to structure a song. Like I got like hella songs. Like I know how to structure a song. So I just get a structure for the song, get a hook. If I know how I wanna go on it and is there, go around it. Is there anything you need like in this like when you're in the studio, is there anything that like you, you gotta have, you feel me? Like do you gotta have like someone in there with you or do you have to uh like you gotta feel some type of way or something. You feel me? Like, um, I try, I try different stuff. Like okay. I experiment. I go to the booth. I go to the studio. I have different jobs. What? 
and like I get different sounds out of me. Like I go, like I go to the studio and just smoke, and I don't know that shit will be like, like I don't know different. I feel like different shit pull different shit out of me. I go to them like when I first came home, I was making sober music for like two months straight. I I made like did you like it? Thirty songs sober. I mean, like I feel like you could tell the difference. Like if I if I showed you a song from when I was sober to when I was what a, dragging. What was by myself? Was that sober? That was sober. I just almost heat. Yeah. Facts, but uh, Griselda. Griselda was sober. Sober. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Like I ain't gonna lie. Anything. The only thing that I've got put out right now that wasn't sober is probably that whole doc. Okay. The newest one. Yeah. That mic tap. Yeah. Tough. I just yeah I just uh I just I just heard that John too that was that was heat right there I like that hook doc yeah that was like I never went for like I'm trying to make them believers like yeah make them believers I feel like they is bro keep it real with I, you I feel like they definitely I feel like they is yeah definitely feel like they is for surely I see you've been traveling man yeah I, I'm about to I'm about to uh, go to L A yeah, every time tomorrow. I talk to you you want some yeah bro I'm about to uh be in Atlanta it's down the third and I'm Came back from Miami. I'm like, oh yeah, he's turned right now. Yeah, I, I gotta <laughs> stay busy, bro. Like, hell yeah, I be trying. Like, even when I'm in the city, bro, I don't be trying. Like, I don't be like, cause you see what happened, bro. Yeah. Every time somebody doing good, bro, that shit. Yeah, I just gotta stay moving around. You just gotta know how to move. That's all, bro. Yeah. Be ten steps ahead. For sure. Try to be keep and keep good people around you. You feel me? Just keep a schedule, bro. Yeah. To anybody out there, you. Can't stay out of trouble. Get you a schedule. Get you some structure. Hundred. Hundred. So you said you about to go to L.A. Yeah, on Friday tomorrow. Okay, you got business out there. Yeah, I'm about to go shoot. I got. Uh, I'm about to go shoot some videos out there. I got this song called Hollywood. I'm about to go shoot in Hollywood. All right. Okay. Okay. That's tough. Uh, yeah. so how many uh jams did you shoot down in um Atlanta? In Atlanta, I shot. I think just two. I see you got some with little key. Yeah, I shot, I shot, I shot that whole dog in Atlanta. And then yeah, that dog was that, dope. That me and key, me and key coming. That dropped on Monday. So how how that uh, uh how that collab come about? Uh, so basically, I've been like, like I don't know, I, I got gravitate towards him because I feel like our sounds are like maybe our fan bases right. would have been like you feel me. Right. So, uh, I had to pick a feature for the tape type shit. And I felt like he was like he would match my sound enough. You feel me? So that's why I went with. Like, and I was trying to go for somebody young, like not nobody that around your age. Yeah, like somebody young that I could relate to, kind of. And that shit worked out. Like, yeah. they, like the supporters and shit, they they like seeing me with him. I probably go back. Like we locked it in and shit. I probably go back do some more shit with him. Oh yeah, you might have. Yeah, for surely. That's my boy. You uh, do you have um? Any more collabs? Yeah, I got some, but uh, yeah, I got some collabs. Yeah, I got some city collabs. I got uh, yeah, I got Duke Bell. Uh, I heard that uh, that two hitter. Was Reaper. it you or him that sent me it? Two hitter Reaper. Yeah. I played it on the radio. Yeah, that shit tough. Yeah, Z, good looking. That shit tough. Uh, we got. I got Duke Bell. Me and Duke Bell just we got some new shit coming though. Uh, me and Meezy step a lot. You know, uh, MDK. And Keep free it MDK. real. I feel like everyone you just named, all four of them, uh, all four of y'all. I feel like y'all got the bird. Yeah, I feel like uh, all we gotta do for real is like just support each other, bro. Yeah. Like, as for as corny as that may sound, bro, like we from different sides and all that shit, bro. Y'all got just the fan. Cause you see, like with the too. you see what the what the Philly niggas is doing. You see what Chicago is doing. Like they they coming together, like. Or you feel me? It ain't it ain't no pushing peace, none of that. Like we don't gotta be pushing no peace, but like it's money involved. Like music is a business, bro. Yeah, you just gotta put their best foot forward. But not though. I got some features. I got some features coming in the city. Me, Z, Duke Bell. Uh, I got some shit with MDK, Hardy, Scarlo. Uh, Low got, too. Yeah. Low been dropping. Yeah, Scarlo hot. Scarlo's definitely hot. Uh, Low Bucks. I got Lil Bucks. What's his name? Lil Bucks from okay. Philly. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Uh, I'm not really I tapped in with the Philly rap scene, but I ain't gonna hold you. Yeah, I wasn't either. I ain't gonna lie. I just went 
Yeah. I, I was up uh this the state placement and shit. And it was all these Philly kids. Yeah. Stay secure. It was all these Philly kids, mainly Philly, like ninety eight percent Philly. I mean my fa- I mean, uh the, the one of the main rappers I've been listening to, he from Philly, but he booked right now, Leaf Ward. Le- yeah, Leaf Tough. I ain't yeah, he lie. was crazy. That's one of my that's one of them ones. That's one of them ones. Yeah, he he's stubborn, right? Yeah, yeah. I don't know what the f- what he got going on though, bro. He can't. We bulk. Yeah, that how you went down. Seeing how you went down, bro. That was some foolish shit. It was bro. some wild shit, right? Yeah, that was crazy. Wasn't he on a date or some shit like that? Yeah, they say he was on a date. It was a stolen car or something. Yeah, something like that. No, that's crazy work. I ain't gonna hold you. Damn. <laughs> who? So, uh, like, who do you? So, I, I told you before we started rolling. Um. When I talk like when I talk about you, when I talk about Pittsburgh artists, I say like he got that like he remind me of Rallo. He remind me he remind me of Rallo like the melodies and shit, even what he's saying and stuff. Like for real, for real, from the first jump I heard from you, like myself, just googling, searching shit, was Miles Bridges. That was the first joint I heard, and that made me become like oh, alright, bros like that. You feel me? So like who who would you say you listen to the most, and like you feel like you you pick up off, of? like you can pick up off. Of? Uh. It, it'll be, it, it's Cap. It's either Cap or Rallo. What? Cap, Rallo. I listen to, like, I listen to Key, Baby, Dirt. But, like, um, more so, like, lyrical rappers. Like, I be more so of the lyrical or, like, trying to paint a picture. Like, I feel like no Cap really, like, like, he make art. Like, yeah. That should be hard. And I don't know. That's the type. But even before, like, because I never, I used to hate, like, I used to not be able to listen to them very, like, I used to be like, what is they talking about? Because, you know. <laughs> you, used they, to, you used to really have to think about yeah. the line that they saying. Yeah. Like, you're going to really have to think. You feel me? Yeah. You fucking have to type that, like, write it down or something. like. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, but no, nah, that's what I listen to, though. Them, I listen to, like, a lot of underground, too, like, underground, like, like, Faso. But the main underground, they just got, they just sang and shit. But like, I listen to Fast Old Chucky, out of, you feel me? But I'm trying to think of like rappers that y'all want to know though, that I listen to. Man, I listen to everybody. I don't discriminate. Even people I'm into it with, I listen to them. Wow. Make a good song. I play it. Oh, yeah. So, um, I see you've been rocking that Trap Billy chain. Are you, you signed to Trap Billy? Uh,. Nah, that's like we got we got uh nah I ain't saying I ain't saying okay, okay I see a lot of people like a lot of people been telling me congratulations though like it's not got cause I got chain and all that but I ain't saying no papers we locked in though just taking you under the wing helping you out yeah I, I mean it's like from the doc from the docu series I mean. I feel like they they tell you well nah they are they're telling you the right shit in that John like yeah. like b- between them two Stevie and Hart I mm-hmm. feel like they been they been there you feel me yeah like they was Stevie and both of them niggas they they been there from the jump you feel yeah, me yeah so they know what they talking about what's it you feel me so yeah and a, a lot of people like be coming to me like oh you signed to Chop Billy you worth more da 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 bro like it ain't about and and especially where we come from, bro, it's not about like first of all, you're not gonna get I'm not gonna get nobody and I know we're listening to what another motherfucker think or right. you feel me, cause it's my life at the end of the day, like don't nobody know what's going on with me or my situation. Oh yeah. And and how I look at it like these just niggas that been in the music game for like you feel me? It might not they might have never reached mainstream success, but like Mm. They're stamped up, yeah, bro. Yeah, like and success when is not only money. Like success is not only mainstream. You feel me? It's the knowledge, bro. You it's feel me? It's the knowledge. Yeah, and and that's what I was saying. Like them two alone, they they know what they talking about, bro. Like when Pittsburgh was at its core. Well, I mean, when Pittsburgh was at its peak, bro. Like in 2012, 2013, bro. Them two was on the front mm-hmm. front row, bro. That's what I'm me? saying. Like so, it's good to have them in your corner. You feel me? Hell like yeah. it really is. So. But well, that's dope, though, for real. You feel me? Not everyone has that in the city. No, I definitely, yeah, I appreciate it, bro. And I, I definitely appreciate that shit. Like, I can't, like, yeah. 
Yeah, <laughs> it'd be a lot I want to be. I be wanting to say like and clear up, but that shit don't. Everything ain't don't need a response. Hunter, I feel that. Who the goat rapper, man? Uh, you said all these rappers. Who the goat rapper? You said some niggas I don't even know though. I ain't gonna hold you. I mean, I know, I know Rallo and No Cap, of course, but the goat. I'll tell you my goat. I'll tell you my goat. Lil Wayne. That's my goat. Oh no, I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's just that that's that's my goat. Future. Future might be the goat. Okay, okay. I like that counterpart. Okay. I like that. Bro, that's a lot. That's another like I ain't used to. I couldn't like. But my cousins and them when I was growing up, they used to always play future, bro. Jeezy. Like Lil Wayne, young money. Future, you know, definitely crazy. All that shit, bro. I used to hate that shit, bro. Like, <laughs> what you used to hate? Uh, Jeezy's voice. I used to hate <laughs> Jeezy's voice. Uh, who else? All the ad libs. Future, bro. I, I ain't like Future. I used to think Future was talking bullshit. For real? Yeah, but now though, like now that I'm older, you feel me? It's the melodies and really, shit, bro. It's the vibes, yeah, bro. I can, I can you feel me? You talk about all. You talk about off the drugs and shit. You don't think he be off the <laughs> drugs in that motherfucker? <laughs> Nah, definitely free, yeah, free thug too. Yeah, slime, free thug, free Lucci too. And Luch, man, both of them niggas. I feel like Luch run was crazy though. Nah, Lucci, Lucci tough. Facts, man. So what? Uh, what was the first song that blew up, bro? I was trying to look for it, bro. I couldn't find it, bro. It's the all the views and shit. I'm like, bro, I can't find the first song, bro. For me, it was uh, life, life or death. Life or death? Yeah. Okay, okay. All right. Uh, you shot a vid to that? Uh-huh. I was like, that was like three years ago. I was 16. Yeah. It was like, it was just one of them. But I recorded that on my phone on Bandler. I was on house arrest and shit. Just got high one day. Heard that beat, like one or two beats. And I did that joint. Okay, okay. You know, it's a, uh, in the beginning, it's like a, a girl singing on the on the thing. Yeah. So I started off like, I ain't singing on this song. She gonna sing it for me. Uh huh. Facts, yeah. you do. Yeah. That's a banger too. Hell yeah. Shows, man. You've been doing shows. I see you linked up with uh Pamplona, uh Pamplona Worldwide, Mark the Bull and all them. Yeah. Uh. Yeah, shout I got another one coming on the 19th. Shout outs to y'all, man. Y'all doing y'all thing, too. October real. 19th, Pamplona. Yeah, pop out, be there. Don't miss it. Who's all, who's all headlining? You and who? I seen a couple people. Me, Sally, Mari, two times. Shout out them two, though. I be, I be. Yeah, them two. They doing their thing in the city. Hell uh, yeah. Sally, Mari, two times. Sally Bando. Uh, yeah. And Mari, too. So, is, is y'all three headlining it? Or is it one yeah, other I think, I think it might be one more person. I can't remember. Okay, it's definitely okay. one more person. Okay, I can't remember okay. it all. Where's it at? It's uh Homestead. Pam uh Yeah, it's in Homestead. The okay. flyer on my, okay, on my okay. Instagram. Hey yeah, I seen uh I seen one of the clips for your shows. I'm like, uh I think they was playing that all by myself. That joint was tame. Man. <laughs> <laughs> that joint was tame. You could believe it, huh? Nah, that's it definitely like my first show, bro, I was nervous a little bit, but once I seen that I'm like, bro, ain't no reason to be nervous. And, they, and you know what's crazy? Because it's in your city, too. It's like, oh, why? Yeah. They rock with me for real, Definitely. you feel me? Let's keep the fake love from around you, though, you feel me? Uh, yeah. 100%. Man. It really made me, like, it made me, like, control, like, big on controlling my emotions, bro, like, a lot of self control it taught me a lot of self control. It taught me like all that hard shit, bro. That shit not like that's not what you want to do, bro. The hardest niggas, like the realest niggas, is out here taking care of their family. That's what it really taught me, bro. Like I was in jail around a bunch of weird ass niggas, bro. Like niggas that I don't know. They might have not had shit going for them out there. I was out here like that shit just taught me like. Find you something to do, like, your freedom is probably, like, like, it just told me, it just taught me value my freedom, bro. That's the, that's the main thing I learned. Value your freedom. Yeah. How long was you in there? I was in there for, like, a year. Only, like, a year. Okay. So, do you feel like, 
You feel like well, your well, music? I was in there, like for the kids that I just got to everybody, you know, about it was it was a year, but like I was in there for like six months before that, so like eighteen months. Okay, okay. So, do you feel like your music blew up while you was in jail? Nah. Okay. Like, I was about to do my thing, like, cause I had, I had just came, well, I had went to jail. Life or death was already going up. Mm -hmm. I went to jail when I was sixteen. I was right before my seventeenth birthday, and then I I came home for only like two months. That's when I did the die long, the get risky, the Miles Bridges. Mm. Like I was I was trying to be on some on some raps. Then the other shit came. I, I got I ended up going back to jail for the homicide, and then I came back and. Hey, bro, what was we just talking about, bro? <laughs> nah, bro. The, uh, <laughs> <laughs> nah, what was we just talking about? Bro, I asked you. <laughs> what I asked you, though? I said, do you feel like your music, like, blew up in jail? Oh, nah, yeah, 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 so. <laughs> hey, <all> right. <laughs> right. Nah, I don't think it. It did, but it didn't, bro, if you get what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. Like, I already had, like, some, you feel me? The situation that I had kind of, like, spiked it, I guess. But I still don't use that, like, I don't be used in it. It's like, I, I don't know, bro. I don't be using that shit. Bro. I get what you're saying, brother. Uh, the city knew me before that. Right. That's what you're saying. You said, like, life before, life after death was hot before yeah. you. All that shit even before happened. That shit. Facts. I feel that. I feel that for sure. Where you see yourself in five years? I don't know. I'd be like, I really don't know, bro. I could say what I wanted to be in five years, but I, I be trying so focused on like today or like in the moment, like right. so I could get to where I want to be. You feel me? Yeah. But if everything goes planned, I see myself somewhere in another state. I don't know what state I want to move to yet. Uh. Not staying in Pittsburgh, though. Yeah, not staying in Pittsburgh. Just doing something better, bro. Oh, yeah. Whether it be rap, whether it be, like, I feel like I'm, it's going to always have something to do with music, though. Yeah. Or, like, yeah, whether it be rap, whatever it be, just doing better than. I feel that. Have some, that. Have some money. Of course. What was, uh, what was the best advice you was ever given? Like, not to let other people's words control me, probably. Because, bro, I used to be like... Not to let other people's words control you. Yeah, and and another one is that uh, as you speak, you create, like, how much power words got. Mm. Your words got as an influence on other people. But, because when I was younger, bro, I used to be, like, hot-headed and shit, like... Crash up. Couldn't say anything to me. Yeah, can't say anything to me or before me. But that's, like... I used to think that was hard. Now I see, like, that's for the week. Like, that's just people covering up their insecurities and shit. And then the other one was, like, that as you speak, you create. Like, when I was just in jail, I went to the state secure placement called Nestle. Uh, it's, it, was a, it was a very, I guess, a way better placement compared to any other state secure, like, where they, they like, the uh, circumstances ain't too good. Like, I, got, I was blessed to go where I went. But... The, the the director they hired a music program like I was like a they had a music program for kids like me mm -hmm. and there and the music program came in but it was the psych like the psychological effects of music like how music make us want to go do these things that we do or like what type of like um, so, so basically like music could control your yeah how your music, actions yeah and, your, and do you believe in that yeah I feel like that made me like think way more about what I put into my music. Like, like somebody, this lady, her name was Ava. I can't remember her last name, but uh, she says, to, as you speak, you create. And now I, I, I be thinking, like, more about what I'm saying because of who's listening. I know it's a lot of younger people. Right. So you try but, not to put out, like, as much crazy stuff as... Yeah, I try not to put out the uh, the crazy stuff. 
But at the same time, you know, that's sometimes that's how I be feeling. Yeah, I'm about to say, yeah, you got to put out how you feel. So do, do you do you do the same with, like, which, whatever you're listening to? I mean, yeah, 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 definitely. I'm, I do that, too. Like, I can't, like, if I'm riding around and I'm on some, <laughs> and I'm on some, uh, I'm on some, on some, yeah, I'm on that. I'm playing that. I'm playing Lil Jeff. You know Lil Jeff? No, I ain't down with him, who that? Uh, I ain't down with him. He was a Chicago rapper. He like, they saying he was like the next King Von. You know, if I'm riding through the city, though, and I'm on that, I'm playing Lil Jeff, but. Bloody Hound Lil Jeff? Yeah, Bloody Hound Lil Jeff. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but but if I'm if I'm chilling, though, you know, I might be riding to some cap, to no caps. Yeah, probably. facts. Okay. If I'm chat, you know, I ain't going. You, if I'm, you feel me? Yeah, I got, I got around you. Around with a little, you know what I'm saying, or something. Yeah, I got you. <laughs> I got you. <laughs> That's I got you, bro. Shit, I feel the same way, dude. Like, cause shit, I put on something, I'm turned. I'm on ten. You feel me? Yeah. And you know, I just used to make music like, like without a target or like with, without a theme or like you feel me. Mm-hmm. Now when I make a song, it'd be like I'm trying to, I'm targeting this. Pe- this group of people, I'm talking to ladies, or I'm speaking about pain, or the, the, the judicial system, or you feel me? What's your What's your favorite uh, What's your favorite thing to rap about then? Is it pain, pain, bro. pain? Cause it just comes so natural. Like right. I could just go in there and freestyle, like tell you how I'm feeling right now, right. like about what this, like like just situations. You feel me? Oh, no, I Not you. be too specific. It just come. It's starting to come easy to me, like just expressing myself. Oh yeah, I feel it's better. Right. It's easier to do that than for me to like uh, get in there and talk about uh, switches and slam down this and that block. Cause everybody else saying that, like everybody else, everybody else already saying that. I would say it's easy to. Well, no, I wouldn't say it. No, yeah, it's easy to rap about that shit. You feel me? And everybody else not living that. Right. It's easy to rap about it when you're not. You feel me? You gotta watch what you're saying when you really. You really doing that? You said the you said the power of words, man. You mm-hmm. taught me you, t- I know, you taught me something though with that. Facts. I mean, I knew it, but I didn't know like the the main. You know what I mean? Yeah. The root of it, for real. What's up, man? We be getting to this freestyle. What's up? What we doing? Yeah, we could do it. Let's what do we it. doing, man? What Let's we doing? Do I bet. Say that. Every day I live from out the house, I put my life at risk I know the life I chose would come with this in the way in Couple hoes I made felt too important, I gave them too much leverage She posted picture of me sleep, we can never Post to watch the rain for I try and catch a flip Do that till the sun come out, can't work no job He got a local body count, so he scan bank accounts Beef so deep, they still up and get off if they seen kids out If he sweet, we kicking down his door, we heard he holding pounds It's niggas who don't know it yet, but niggas drop like flies by me Police swarm like every spot we play, watch out for wide tops Walk the graveyard I could've sworn y'all ain't was supposed to We gon' switch the routes, then call it out of boy I might play coach, but we gon' Man, we down, down to play, release the damn mm-hmm. Park the car and then we catch a hit You out when you know that shit was live out, you stayed in The sweet took that one close to me, how I'm supposed to feel Telling people I love, don't pull out cameras around me, it's that real And I ain't gon' front to you, I was hoping you had my back still I seen grown men do shit a bitch with do can't about that around me. I miss you and whenever I see you, you better run Not taking off Switch my time zone, nah uh, Think it's time I let go of them ties, now nah, I'm grown uh, Mama call my phone on with them slimes on the road uh, She so different, I like her, but I think it's dope uh, Don't play games with me, little bitch, you see I want your throat uh, Walked up on that boy, he looked up like he seen a ghost You heard of that little boy who seen a blood wave in the ocean It's me, I grab my from out the sand and started surfing Have you heard of that little boy who seen a blood wave Hey, that's how we gonna end it right there, bro. Hey, what's one thing you gotta say to the people before we end though, bro? Hey, just be you, man. Don't be out here trying to be somebody you not that shit can You know? Hell yeah, <laughs> hell yeah. <laughs> what do you tell? Nah, man. Hey, man. X Files, X Files, X Files, man. Like, comment, subscribe on YouTube. Underscore, underscore X Files on Instagram. 
Young Doc on Instagram, B Doc on YouTube, B Doc A word, man. Appreciate you for sliding on Appreciate me, my guy. You, my boy. Getting it, getting these drugs, distributing, doubling money and flipping it. Back in the booth and I'm killing shit. I'm the same kiddo, ain't different. My niggas the same, we sending them.